Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I will be sharing a few different DIY candle holders with you. For this video, I teamed up with the folks from Suru and we're hoping to show you guys how easy it is and fun it is to make some home decor for the holidays using their moldable glue. If you're not familiar with Suru, it's actually a moldable glue that could be formed into any shape and once it sets, which is usually about 24 hours, it adheres permanently to the surface you attached it to. It's almost like playing with Play-Doh, but it's permanent once it dries. These candle holders are so easy to make. I'll be showing you a fun technique that can be used to attach to almost any surface. You can use a recycled tray, a wood block, or some wood discs to make these candle holders. That's what I did. To make my candle holder, I started off by lining my table with some saran wrap because Suguru tends to stick to surfaces really well. I then pulled out three packets of Suguru and rolled them into a ball. Then I rolled it out, making sure it's no thinner than one fourth of an inch. You can use a dowel to roll it out or a spray can works fine. Just make sure whatever you use, you wrap in saran wrap so the Suguru doesn't stick to it. Next, I used some paper and wrapped it around the base of my candle to measure how big I wanted the candle holder base to be. Once I had my paper pattern cut out, I laid over my rolled out Suguru and used it to help guide my knife to cut out my candle base. I ended up leaving three tails at the base and this is actually to help attach my candle holder base to the wood disc later. Next, I slightly folded up the tails and connected both ends to create a base. I gently lay it onto my wood slice, making sure it's as centered as possible. Here's what the tails should look like on the inside. Now, to fully secure this candle holder base to the wood, I took some small pieces of Suguru and dropped about four of these pieces in the center. I then wrapped my candle with some saran wrap and stuck it inside applying pressure. This should squish everything inside and secure the candle base to the wood disc. I actually found it kind of hard to remove the saran wrap together with the candle, so I first removed the candle and then um, gently removed the saran wrap. Now you can slightly fix the shape if needed and let it set for 24 hours. So the fun thing about working with Suguru is it's moldable, which means you can create texture using different optics. For one of my candle holders, I decided to experiment. I used a paintbrush, the back of my paintbrush, and made little indents and this created like a hammered look which I thought looked pretty cool and to give it a gold hammered look I just applied some gilding adhesive and gold leaf and this gave me a pretty metallic hammered finish. The nice thing about this stuff is it's sold in so many colors. You can easily mix multiple colors to create your custom color. Um, you can even create like a marbled look by combining strips of different colors and you just keep rolling it out and folding it, rolling it out and folding it. Just repeat these steps until you notice a marbled effect. Here's how my test dry turned out. You can also try painting it, but I should mention, I didn't have much luck with painting it. Um, Suguru tends to react to paint as if it's silicone, so it doesn't adhere really well. I did get amazing results with spray paint. I'm gonna share that with you guys. Okay, so this next DIY is one of my favorites. I used a recycled planter saucer to create this candle holder using Suguru as well. You can do the same with almost any recycled tray. I used the same method as I did in the previous candle holder and created my candle base and then I just simply attached it to the saucer. I then let it set for 24 hours and it was ready to be spray painted. Once it was set, um, I decided to try this stone spray paint. This is my first time trying this and I was totally blown away with this. I love how simple it looks. It did take a while to dry, I should warn you guys, but it was totally worth it. It gives off such a simple look and it definitely does look like stone with like a weird um, classic texture. I don't know, it just looks really cool. I think this candle holder would be perfect on your nightstand or maybe even on your mantle for the holidays. These gold leaf candle holders are definitely more festive and more elegant looking. These would be perfect for Christmas decor. And I think they look super cute with the fairy lights around them because it makes the gold glow even more. If you like a more simple style, which I'm usually drawn to more, you could just leave them simply white without the gold leaf and stack the wood discs to get different heights on your candle holders. There's just so many possibilities with this and I had so much fun making this DIY. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this inspires you to make your own. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.